hello guys my name is Dennis welcome to another video and it's that time of the year again where all churches do their harvest Thanksgiving so in this video I'm going to show you how to design a nice harvest Thanksgiving brochure cover with Corel Draw 2020 and we start right now subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any video okay the first thing i'm going to do is to set my size which i'll be working with remember we are designing an a3 cover which means part will be a4 and the other part will be a4 that is front and back so i'm going to set my size to a3 and case a3 then i need it to be landscape and i have to click on landscape so i have it like this and these are the resources I'll be working with the logo of the church and the pictures I'll be using for the harvest design and this is the advert that will be coming at the back uh, for many of you that have been designing harvest broker you know very well that the back cover most times comes with an advert of any brand at all or most times they write appreciation there but in this case I'm going to put this journey hotel advert at the back okay so i'm going to double click on my rectangle tool and i'm going to right click here to take off the outline then i'm going to hold the and drag to the center i believe by now most of you might have mastered this trick which i use in dividing my work into two parts so i'm dragging it here when i get this notification there that shows center i right click before i leave my mouse then i have one a4 here let me give it a color so you know now i still have another a3 here which i need to make it a4 so i'll hold this side and drag it to this side so i have another a4 now i have two a4 i'll convert both of them to white so this is the two shapes which will comprise of the front and back Remember, the front of every cover design always come at the right and the back always come at the left. So what I'm going to do now is to start my design for the front cover first. So remember, this design is going to be for print, which means I'll be printing this cover. That's why my color mode is on CMYK. So when designing yours, you have to make sure that your color mode is CMYK. Okay, so I'm going to give this um, green color since this is a harvest brochure and the color for harvest color for fruit color for plant is always green except the church you are designing for need another color but i will recommend green so i'm going to use green here and i will not just use this direct green i have to work on that green by clicking and holding the green color you see other colors that comes with green so i'm going to choose this particular color here this is the type of green i want i'm going to use my interactive field tool which the shortcut is g and i'm going to create this fountain field like this and i'll give it this lemon color click and hold on charges so you see other colors that come with it then you choose this particular color here can see how it looks then i'm going to click on a elliptical fountain field so it centralized the centralized the field color like this then i'll take it upwards a little here and it's okay then drag it till it fits into the edges of the design just like what you can see here so for now i believe my background is okay then i'm going to pick this fruit here this particular fruit now I'm going to link up these two fruits, those two fruits, I'm going to link them up in the description so you can download it and use for your own design. But I will not link the advert for Gerani Hotel and I will not link the logo. It's only the two fruits. Okay, then I'm going to power clip this into this shape. Um, right click on the fruit, click on power clip inside and click on the shape then take it up there and 
enlarge it like this okay this is perfect for me then i'm going to press alternate on my keyboard and click on the shape that is um when you press alternate and click on a power clipped object you'll be able to select the object inside the power clip and edit it the way you want so i'm going to click on my transparency tool and click on fountain transparency and you see this stuff like this so you can edit the transparency the way you want it and for me this is how i want it to be and i want to expose part of the flute a little just like this you can see how cool it is okay then the next thing i'm going to do is to type the church names and every other stuff before i fix in every other thing at first i'll put the logo here so the logo will be on the top just like this and mind you when designing stuff like this you have to guard your work and i i would i should have done this first at the beginning of this job but you know since i'm used to the whole stuff that's why i hardly guard my work but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to show you how to guard your work with the use of rulers why i use rulers to make sure that your job is guarded so when your job is printed and taken to a uh, guillotine they won't cut off any text in your design instead pictures can be cut off but your text is very important that's why you use those guidelines to guard your job and make sure they are all inside let me show you how to use it uh, the first guideline you pick from your ruler bar you drag it down to your work and press p to centralize the first one the first one is always at the center and you pick another one and just make sure it's at least one inch away from your edge just like this do the same thing to the back make sure it just at least one inch you can use your uh, box to draw and make it one inch let me set this two inches and make it one inch if you are not used to the pattern make it one inch then bring it down here you can see then you can now use this to keep your guideline but uh, I don't want to do it that way that's why I kept it just like this okay let me just say half inch away okay then the same thing to this other side i'm duplicating the lines with my mouse that is i'm right clicking the same way i duplicate objects i'm right clicking before leaving it to duplicate the lines that's done for all the sides then the next part i'll do is the top and the bottom that is to say all my design should fit into this shape here nothing should go outside there and the same thing to this other side nothing should go out so that's just how to guard your work but i will not be using all these rulers to design because i think i don't need it because i understand my job so i'll do it that way okay i've deleted all the rulers then let's continue this design okay i'm going to type this the Presbyterian Church of Nigeria. Okay, so this is what I'll be doing with this. I'm going to change my typeface to Tahoma. Tahoma, yeah, that's what I'll be using. I'll make it um, 16 points and make it bold, like what you can see here. The Homer 16 point bold, then give it a white color. All right, that's perfect. 16 point bold and white color. Okay, then I'm going to type the location of the church under here. Okay, that's Ishi Town Parish Calabar and I'm going to give it 14 points this time around 
and give it a white color this time i'm not making this one bold because that's not my main focus the name of the church should be bolder than the location of the church so i'm going to centralize this by pressing shift and select the name and press c to centralize it with the name of the church then the next thing i'm going to do now is to type again present okay text change case to upper case okay then i'm going to use tahoma as well remember when designing use only three typeface so i'm trying to make sure that i reduce my typeface to only three for the main time it's only one i've been using which is tahoma okay then i'm going to use my shape tool to adjust the line to adjust the text spacing like this okay i'm going to make it 12 points and gradually i'm going down present shift select the shape and press c so all i'm doing is just to make sure that i'm centralizing all elements in my design i'm just trying to make sure that all elements of my design are on the center then i'm going to give this a a yellow color and this time around i'm going to make it bold why i'm making this present bold is because the present is already small so it has to be bold so when printed it will pop up very well then i'm going to use my pen tool to make this stuff like this to create designs like this and i'll give it uh one point right click to give it white then i'm going to place them like this i'm just duplicating the lines and place it name here so this is it is part of the design it looks cool like this okay and what i'll be doing next is to type the 2020 harvest thanksgiving service okay 2020 harvest thanksgiving oh. service okay Control K to break the text apart. When pressing Control K, you can see I have been able to break these two text apart. Then I'm going to introduce a new typeface, which is Death Star. That's what I'll be using here, Death Star. Okay, and this is it. 2020 harvest, and I'll give it a white color. And Thanksgiving service also Death Star. centralize this and press C to centralize then give it white okay I'm going to create a shape like this with my rectangle tool and I'll use my shape tool to make this round edge like this and I'll give it white color then I want to bring the Thanksgiving service to the top and give it red color like this okay then i'll centralize you can see it looks cool okay then i'll use my pen tool to create this line like this and make it four points white then do the same to this other side okay so this is it for the top part of the design then i'm going to introduce this fruit here Okay. I can see how the design is going well. The arrangement is making sense a little. Okay, so this is the placement of the fruit. I have to power clip the fruit in this shape here and I try to place it well to centralize it very well. Okay, now this is another technical part of this design where I would like you to focus very well and understand. I want to create a shape down the design so it will have a kind of contrast between the top part of the design and the down part of the design. 
and I'll be using my pen tool to do this and I'll be doing this inside my power clip yes so this is what I'm going to do I'll first of all open my power clip like this press control on your keyboard and click on your shape to open this power clip like this then click on the pen tool and draw this shape like this click here and drag your mouse till you get that curve like that then leave it you can see the way the curve looks like then i'm going to join this again just to get this curve like this then um i think i should do this again so you understand very well i will delete this curve you click on your pen tool click here and click here then after clicking there you don't leave your mouse you drag it upwards sorry you drag it downwards till you get that particular curve there your curve may not be the same as mine but you just have to give this curve like this if you can get it like that then you are good to go give it a white color and right click here to take off the outline then you can see how it looks but for now i'm going to give it orange color so i will see what i'm doing then i'm going to click on the shape again and hold it and take it upwards right click before you leave and give it a yellow color you can see how it looks fine then i'm going to click on the orange shape again click again to get this cost then drag it to this other side and right click before you leave and give this one uh, let me say red color so what i'm going to do now is to send the red and yellow to the back so i'm going to press ctrl page down to send the red to the back and i'm going to do the same to yellow by sending it to the back like this then i'm going to give this orange a white color and i'll give the yellow this deep yellow color i don't need the normal yellow i need this deep yellow then the red i'm going to give it uh lemon the lemon we have used before i'm going to give it that lemon color then i'm going to give this a shadow i'm clicking on the white then i'll give it a shadow with my shadow tool i'll give it this dark shadow like this you can see um, it popping up now then I'm, I'm going to make this white to be uh, pale yellow then I'll give this white a uh, outline of a four point then right click to give it a white color outline okay let the outline be eight points fine then press control and click outside here you can see now I've been able to create this nice shape here so this is what we have been working on I believe you understand this technique if you don't understand this technique you can keep on watching that particular part of the video to you understand what I did there it's very simple using your pen tool and adjusting it you know turning these shapes till you get this design it looks very cool okay uh the next thing i'm going to do is to okay let me bring this shape down a little so i can review my fruit more okay i'm i'm happy with this then i have to bring this i want to make this type of effect i click on the shape click on the fruit and press ctrl page up to bring the fruit to the top then um, add transparency to the down part of the fruit like this so you can see it merges with this shape like this you see this part of yellow that has the fruit like this on it that's what i really wanted so i'm okay with that i'm going to press ctrl click here to close my power clip then i will type the remaining parts of this design but before then i have to create a circle here like this you know this presbyterian church they have their team and they have the sub team so i'm going to make the team to be here and the church value the sub team than the ga team that's the main team so i'm going to allow 
this to be like this i'm going to create this and give it this lemon color right click to take off the outline here then i'm going to reduce it to this side then i'm going to duplicate this shape like this press shift on your keyboard while reducing this so it can reduce all the sides you know if i leave my shift this is how it looks like but if i press shift it reduces all together then um right click before you leave and give it a white color just as what you can see you can adjust it again okay okay the next thing i'm going to do is to create this shape like this okay with my paint tool and i will give it uh, um, a green color and i'll fill the green with lemon like this okay right click here to take off the outline then right click on the shape click on power clip inside and click on this white circle to send it inside and this is what i'm going to type here team and i'll give it this typeface tahoma and make it bold and give it a white color then take it up here and release it and fit it inside here like this i'm going to edit the shape here okay it's fine it's fine all right and i'm going to type uh arise and shine then i'll edit it like this press ctrl k to break it bring it here dead star press ctrl k again to break it then increase the arise while the hand should be small and shine dead star and increase it like this okay okay i'll give this green i'll give this green and i'll give this red i'm going to type this uh, bible portion here isaiah isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 then uh tahoma make it 12 points and place it under here right all right that's for the team then the sub team now is going to be uh harvest of glorious manifestation okay then i'm going to edit this stuff like this you know the way you arrange your text in a design looks so nice it's the, the main part of the design that makes your design look cool so i'm going to use this typeface um south garden that's the typeface i'll be using now this is the third font i've introduced into this design and i'm not using any other new typeface i've used taoma death star and the last one is this south garden i'm not using any other typeface that's the three typeface i'm using for this design so i'm going to enlarge this and I'll give it this green color here okay leave this position is okay then I'll type off click on text change case to upper case okay and the homer uh, bold then I'll create this circle here give this circle red color right click it to take off the outline make this white and press ctrl page up to bring it to the top and place it here okay that's cool um, i think i should adjust this again all right then glorious should be capital letters so i'm going to change this to uppercase and change the typeface to dead star then I'll increase it like this. That, that position is nice. And 
press Ctrl page up to bring it to the top then press Ctrl K to break the text apart because I want to arrange the text how I want them to be okay I here and I'm going to increase this O here and I'll give you red color select the O and select this R and press Ctrl Q because I want to trim this off you know then I'll click on trim you can see trim here after selecting the boat and curving them press Ctrl Q to curve you see these options up here then you click on trim to trim it off and do the same to L also click on trim so I can reduce this circle again you can see this nice curve around the circle then I'm going to edit this circle like this fill it with uh, orange like this and right click on orange again and make the outline to be uh, three points okay let's make it two two points is okay then the rest of the text you are going to select them one after another and give it a green color like this it looks cool okay then manifestation change the typeface to upper case I change the font to upper case and give it Tahoma bold reduce it a little use uh, your shape tool and adjust it like this centralize it this way all right that is very nice arrangement there you can increase this again and centralize it and you can still increase it again and centralize it all right i'm happy with this you can see how it looks so cool then i'm going to type here oh sorry i'll type sub team uh text change case to upper case okay change this to uh, tahoma and i'll bring it here i'll give it 14 points i can adjust the text spacing like this also okay give it red color ctrl k to break and the sub should be green like this you can see how it looks looks so cool so the front part of the design is done let me know down in the comments if you love this design and if it looks nice all right and if you are enjoying this video give it a thumbs up okay um i want to put the advert on the back then i'm going to click on the advert and press ctrl page up to send it to the top because it seems it's back the layer then i want to bring it to the top then press shift on your keyboard and select the back shape and press c and e to centralize it at the back of the design then i need to leave it here as uh, i'm click on a bell yellow like that okay i'm happy with this so i'm going to leave my design like this and i'm going to mix this pearl yellow with a uh, deep yellow just like this it looks cool okay so this is the final look of this design i believe you love this design so much but if you love this design let me know down in the comments and if you found this video helpful like you benefited from like you've learned from this video let me know down in the comments and it will encourage me to do more of videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video i will see you next time